from Muha Studio and a bit of a different one today because I've had to completely disassemble the studio and all of my stuff is kind of piled up around this top room in the house uh, so I've got all my keyboards um, oh, my, my actual moon hair he's rather cool um, and uh, everything else is just sort of kind of lying around here keyboard stands mic stands um, all the other gear and bits and pieces that I normally have wired in um, and the main reason for this is that um, unfortunately when we built the uh, other section of the house which is out the car um, and when I say we obviously I mean somebody built it for me um, it started to settle out the old building is a timber frame it's about 1400s uh, for 1406 we think possibly the oldest part of the building and uh, as the new section settles um, it's all cracking all the plaster work and everything around the beams and any kind of, kind of joints or anything like that and so now um, we've just basically had to gut the whole place so they can get on with the repairs and um, you know few acoustic tiles around but that's about it really everything else has been taken out but it is going to give me the opportunity to do a job that I've been meaning to do for a very long time and that is to repair my studio desk so I'll uh, yeah let's just move these base traps out of the way um, but that's the desk that I made from all this scrap wood that I had lying around so this actually cost me about 15 quid uh, 15 pounds for anybody that's uh, not British and doesn't know what a quid is um, and the only thing I really had to buy were the uh, the coach bolts that hold it all together and they were like about three or four quid and then these runners for the um, keyboard stand which slides in and out underneath my desk but the runners cost about uh, I don't know, 13 pounds or something so they're the, these metal things that I've attached everything else onto and it's basically this was all scrap wood that I had lying around and you know in building your own desk you can actually construct it to fit your equipment so I've got the perfect gap in the middle for my monitor when that's on there and you'll have seen that in other videos but the one thing that's been problematic since I set it up is that it's not very stable it moves from side to side <laughs> <laughs> things falling off it um, and it's not drastic but it's a bit irritating so today is the day that I fix that problem and if we wander outside um, what I'm basically doing is I've got a couple of bits again of scrap wood from my scrap pile over there um, and I'm making a kind of X brace to go on the back and I'm hoping that this will do the job so I'm going to get on with that and then I'll show you the result That's it, all finished. So the cross brace is in there and fitted down the bottom. And uh, if I, yeah, that's not moving at all. So that's great. That that is so much better than it was. Really pleased with that. So for 15 pounds and the, and the scrap wood, um, you know, a decent studio desk. Um, and just in case you were wondering about the the panels, because they do they do move around. <laughs> They're actually only fixed with a, a single screw and a raw plug into the, the wall. And what I've done is for each of these sections that's up here, um, if, you, if you turn one of these panels over, you'll see I've just literally glued them onto a piece of sort of kind of plastic card. And that holds the, the four together. And then just a single screw through the middle will hold it to the wall. And the only reason I'm doing that is uh, so that if I ever need to 
change rooms and this reverts to something else uh, it's totally reversible and you won't get that horrendous thing of loads of black foam stuck to the walls that you literally can't get off without damaging the walls completely but anyway hopefully uh, next time I speak to you it'll be something to do with music so thanks for watching